Hello everyone, and welcome to a new Let's Play. So I was slightly interrupted there. Uh, this is Overlord, which is a sort of strategy, RPG, hybrid thing. Released in 2007, I believe, uh, for the 360, probably PS3 and PC. It's the PC version, of course. So we're going to create a new profile and jump in there. Get started. In this game, you play an evil overlord. Simple enough. And your job is to uh, take over and destroy the land. gonna turn the sound levels down a bit because um, I'll tweak them as and when I need to but for now that'll do. Keep voice high obviously so you can hear what the fuck is going on. Uh, back and um, we'll start a new game. Some acid in his eyes. That'll freshen him up. Come Master, evilness truly suits you. Let us go forth. There are nefarious deeds to be done. I feel the land quaking with fear already. Okay, so we've just been woken up by our minions, and we are the evil overlord I himself. I am Null, minion master and devoted servant of darkness. The haziness will pass, and your muscles will become limp. This cavern is the spawning pit, sire, where new minions are born and live. Now you are here, you can call forth minions from this minion gate. Okay, just need to get used to the controls because I played this on the Xbox previously. So here go our minions. Uh, ah, look at those keen little evil faces. Ready to loot and pillage at your command. Let us continue. Follow me if you wish to study the finer points of combat and minion control. Of course, if you want to get straight to the smiting, then I shall meet you in the throne room upstairs. I am going to do the tutorial because I can't remember what the fuck I'm doing here. Basically, Your this game... Your minions will follow you wherever you go, Master. Unless you give them a task. As I was really interrupted there, um, the minions... You command your minions around, they follow you around, and eventually you will have a horde of them to do battle against the goody two-shoes elves, hobbits and dwarves that lurk around this area. And we're gonna kill a lot of people here as we rule the world as evilly as possible. That's the main goal of this game. It's got a fable sort of vibe, fable sense of humour, except of course you're pure evil all the time. And uh, well, actually, no, you can be good. There are good choices to make rather than pure evil choices. Uh, but we'll see what choices will I make in this wonderful game. Um, that's where I came from. I'm just having a look around at the moment. Just get a, getting my bearings. I might need to tweak the settings as well because perhaps his frame rate is reasonably shit at the moment. I'm not 100% sure where my friend went, uh, the guy guarding me, but we'll go in here for now. That looks pretty gross, whatever it is. Like a gigantic turd awaiting there. Hmm. I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing here. Are you here. sure you don't need any lessons, Master? Okay, so that's clearly the way to the throne room, so we'll go the other way. Because I definitely do need the fucking lessons, don't I? Old, uh, old goblin thing, one thingy. Being overlord is more than just throwing a few fireballs and causing chaos. Proper evil takes skill and maybe, well, just a bit of mayhem. <laughs> I think the sleeping beauty's a little rusty. 
Oh, our jester, sire. I really should have nailed him out for the crows long ago. Teach him to respect his overlord. I think I fucking well. Stop! <laughs> You're tickling! You're tickling! <laughs> Good! Now hit him again. Don't hold back. <laughs> you can really fucking kick this guy's ass! Look at the bounce! See? It's all coming back now. Evil is not something you just forget. Come on, you metal lump! That's it! Now you've got him! <laughs> fucking take this, you fucking annoying piece of shit. I wonder if I can hit him like a baseball. Come on, princess! You move like a dead badger! Shame you don't smell as good! He's out of your reach, sire. Use your minions to shut his flapping mouth. Oi, Tubbs! They should call you the Overlord! <laughs> oh, it warms my black heart to see them running about the place, trying to rip each other apart. Oh, it is so cute, isn't it? Aww. Can I have some testings, please? Back, master. All of them! Oi! Mr. Overlord, show me some evil! If you need your minions to follow a complicated route, then you must sweep them through it. Hold both right and left mouse button and move the mouse in the direction of the gesture. Doesn't really seem to be doing anything this at the moment. We could have stumbled upon one of the many controls problems here. There was a, quite a fucking lot of problems on the uh Um Okay, so this is the tutorial guys. We won't be playing any more seeing as I can't fucking do anything. Hold both the right and left mouse button. Well, it seems to be working, but they're, they're not, like, going anywhere. And you can't turn while you're holding them down. Hang on, hang on. Hold the right, then left. I'm not quite sure how this is working. Is it working? Call that evil! Overlord? Overrated, more like. How wet. Hurrah. Don't let him get away, sire. Sweep your minions after him. Bet he'll whittle himself silly. Okay, still don't really understand this. Go ahead, sweep him down. Sweep him down. It's working quite well, I think. I hurt. I hurt. Oh, the kick in his I ass! I think you're ready, master. Accompany me to the throne room. Evil deeds won't do themselves. Feel free to beat him further if you wish. Sorry, I think I'll leave him there for now. I think I, I think I get the basics here now. Uh, you draw your minions, you beat people up, you kick ass, spring your axe in their faces, and you are the most evil of the evil overlords. Well, we're not quite there yet, but we will be by the time this game is through. So we're going to head to the throne room now and see what uh, we need to get done. Whoa. Our lair is looking a bit shit at the moment, isn't it, guys? It's a bit, a bit Your shit. Your throne room, sire. Yeah, and our throne. Alas. One cannot be a bastion of evil these days without wretched heroes lining up to prove themselves. That last lot were particularly bothersome, killing your predecessor like that. Still, you're here now, sire. Evil will always find a way. Indeed it will. Indeed it will. They also looted and destroyed much of the tower. But it's merely a setback for the forces of darkness, sire. You are a new overlord. Rebuild your tower, punish those so-called heroes, and re-establish a dark domain. 
This is the tower portal, sire. Sadly, it's missing its power source, the tower heart. However, there's still a tiny bit of energy left. It's just enough to transport you to the last known location of the heart. When you're ready, sire, step through the gate. I shall meet you on the other side. That's so much fun. Okay, so we have to find the tower heart. Shut up. We have to find the tower heart, so let's go, I guess. It not really gate-like to me. It's like some of the graphics were missing, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Is there any more glaring areas like that? We'll notice. Oh, isn't it pretty? It's like a fable or any other generic RPG. Ah, you made it through the gate, sire. This tranquil wilderness. So rural and idyllic. Hideous, is it not? Try not to inhale it, my lord. You can summon your minions from these gates. They are ancient arcane links between your tower and this land. Hmm. Currently, you can only summon browns. You must find the other lost minion tribes before you can summon them. Perhaps we may recover some of our looted tower objects in this lush, verdant abomination. Okay, so later on in the game. Your minions are waiting. Oh, shut they the need fuck only up. To be summoned. I'm just going to talk over you all the time, Michelle. Brown minions are your main fighters. They will happily die, so you don't have to. Wonderful. She's going to say something else on you. You're going to say something about the sheep. I can see you're going to say something about the sheep. Anyway, uh, you have different minions you can unlock later on as we rescue them. And there's obviously lots to explore and stuff around here. So let's set about finding our crystal tower and rebuilding our dark legacy of, uh, of ruling the world and shit. What's this? Oh. I think I need ones that can go in water. The blue ones to get something like that. So when I have blue ones, I need to come back there. The number about the item shows how many minions you need to carry the item. Um... To be fair, I can't remember much else about this game. It's almost blind, to be honest with you. I haven't played it a lot. Um, but I do remember stuff like that before. So let's see what happens. These fluffy creatures barely know they're alive. But you can still harvest life force from them. Remember, life force equals minions. Return to the gate to call more to your side. Those poor sheep are going to get massacred. Back. Good, sire. Your minions will dutifully bring you anything they find, like this life force. They do not have the wit to do anything else, nor the pockets. <laughs> you can absorb life force yourself, Master, by merely getting near it. Well, I may as well butcher all these sheep, seeing as uh, we need the life force here. Stupid, <laughs> pointless creatures. If you're against cruelty to animals, probably not the best game. And the second one, you can club baby seals. But, um, still. So. I find it quite entertaining, and I'm not pro-animal cruelty in general. It's just quite good fun to be evil. I love you like putting on Jade Empire going, Oh, Minx, I can't believe you're evil. I'm evil in every game I play. 95% of the time I will be evil. Totally and utterly, purely evil. Because it's far much fun. Far much more fun. Good is boring, most of the time. These urns ahead may yield something beneficial. There's nothing minions like more than breaking things. That's breaking well, them. Apart from killing things. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how cartoon the evil they are. Like fucking dick dastardly they running around shooting stuff, like smashing stuff and things. Okay, so anyway, uh, I can now summon more minions because I found more life force, I think. So, yeah. yeah. I don't know how many I can get at once at the moment, but let's, uh... I can have max of five at the moment, it's fine. Our so... way is blocked. Ah, but we have strength in numbers. Use all your minions on that pillar, and they will work together to move it. Kick some ass, minions. Let's move this pillar all away. Yours, you putrid lumps of flesh. Make your master proud. Onwards. Huzzah. I'm not quite sure how I save in this game and stuff, so I should probably investigate at some point soon. Oh! 
halflings took over my farm, tied me up in the sun to scare the birds. Now, those pumpkins are plotting against poor Bob. They want revenge for all the pies I made, and the soup, and the jelly, and the uh, ice cream. I hear the pumpkins whispering at night, but I won't leave my farm to the halflings. Oh no, they're worse than the pumpkins. Please help get Bob's farm back. Oh. Your creatures ain't related to pumpkins, are they? <laughs> so yeah, we had a. Uh... Even the birds laugh at me. Fucking hell! They're in with the pumpkins. Shut up! Shut up. <gasps> Anyways, guys, clearly mental. Let's trash as well. Keep those squinky things away from me! Get away! Death to the fucking pumpkins! Woo! They're screaming. The pumpkins are screaming. Oh my they're god! Scared. Get him! Get him! It's fine! He's actually moving around like a fucking scarecrow as well. That's so fucking weird. Smash everything down, guys. Every single thing must be smashed. All these bounty lines must go. You never know what's inside. There could be, uh, I don't know what they're looking for. Stuff. Smash the other side too. Come on. I want every single thing that looks good. Torn down. Kill, kill, kill. Smash, smash, smash. Oh, this is actually really good fun. Your creatures ain't related to pumpkins, are they? Shut up, dickface. Or I'll kill you. I'm sure I can make Even kill the him. birds laugh at me. They're in league with the pumpkins. <gasps> Trash the farm. My farm. Oh, well, I'd rather have a wrecked farm than one smelling a halfling. <laughs> These aren't your normal tea sipping, cake eating types either. They're evil little blighters. <laughs> that showed him. Oh, you'd better get going, Sonny. Now, the path behind my house leads to the village of Spree. Oh, I bet there are more of them fat little demons about. So be careful. Kill! 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 He's like a proper Lord of the Rings pirate. Spree? Is me? Spree, well, the first village I'll in Lord of the Rings. Here. Fix me farm. Maybe grow marrows instead. Yeah, marrows don't talk so much. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. The goblins have got pumpkins on their heads. They're wearing like Halloween masks. I don't know if you guys can see that on YouTube, but it's pretty funny. Okay, sweep goblins over the tree by holding left. Okay, let's go. See what's over Minions this side. Minions will automatically equip any useful items they find. And often, oh, any useless items too. I like pumpkins on But do not fear. Your weapons and armor are custom forged at the tower. We wouldn't dream of giving you any old steal me downs. No, no, no. Okay, guys, why the fuck are you sweeping across? Let's do this again. Let's work this again. Yay! I'm having a bit of trouble with the uh, the log here. Behaving like turtle morons, never mind. And let's finally do the ones over at the back there. Go on. Go on, guys, you're my fucking army. Get your asses in gear. Oh, we're just gonna stand around like morons. Fine. Guys, 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 now. We can appear to have a breakdown in communication here, so. I can't actually kick him either. My character's like permanently facing away. Anyway, this, is, this isn't a game without flaws, but it is a lot of fun when things actually fucking work. There we go. Come on, guys. No, no, come on. Come on, come on, come on. You can work this out. Fuck you. Fuck off. We're just going to keep going. I can't be asked. Okay, so. These are half things. See the clouds that rose from those They're dead gonna halflings? Die. That's evil energy. It gathers in all us evil creatures. You will learn more of it in time, Master. So yeah, I should have said before, the hard things in this game, you think of like cute guys, hairy feet, well, maybe not cute, but fat guys, hairy feet, small, that sort of stuff. Well, they, they're not the nicest of creatures. Let's just, let's just put it that way. Come on, guys. I want to do this. I want to fucking do this. Okay, so you press, this is how it says, this is what you say you do, you press right button. But they're, they're sort of like, uh, 
having serious problems now with the bridge. I'm not quite sure what the issue is. But, um... My character seems to have serious problems, like, facing it at times as well. I'm just going to face the other way completely. It's fine. I mean, look! Look at this! What the fuck is going on? Oh, we're fine. Yeah, of course, going to attack those. If anyone actually knows what the fuck is this problem is I'm having with the controls, let me know, because it's frustrating me. Okay, so anyway. You guys finished destroying stuff? You're actually going to help me this time? Good. The Tower Heart! The halflings must have used it to grow pumpkins. Everybody loves pumpkins, I guess. Let's get the fucking they have tower no up. idea of the real power it contains. Clear those pumpkins and let's get it back to the tower. Fucking smash the pumpkins down. Get this tower up. We need to get the fuck out of this lovely, beautiful area because it's frankly offending my eyes. Your minions will carry it for you, master. Being the Overlord means never having to lift anything heavy. Careful! Careful! The Tower Heart will seek the gate, that's good. So they're gonna, the, the guys are going to carry it back now, I guess. And we need ten guys to open this way, yeah? Guys to the village, I guess, ah, of Spree. Indians have found a shortcut! How handy that piece of wall was there for me to smash down with my massive axe. Come on, guys. Off you go, come on. 